Welcome to Global Banking and Finance Review Awards. Global Banking and Finance Review is a leading brand name in the world of finance and banking. Their awards were created to recognize companies of all sizes that are prominent in particular areas of expertise and excellence within the global financial community. This time, we're pleased to offer an award to the Bahrain Telecommunications Company, or Patelco, for Best Company Corporate Governance Bahrain 2014. Patelco has played a pivotal role in Bahrain's development as a major communications hub and today is the leading integrated communications provider. Beyond Batelco's group's focus on business and financial performance, the company is also committed to its role as a responsible corporate citizen and gives support to health, education, sports and cultural programs that benefit the communities the company operates in. Group General Manager Corporate Affairs, Mr. Ahmed Al Janahi, travelled to London to receive the award from Global Banking and Finance Review's Noel O'Leary and Jessica McManigan. After, Phil Fothergill spoke to him about Patelco's business within the world telecommunications industry. Well, welcome to London. Thank and you. And congratulations on the award as well. We are very proud. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for talking to us today. And perhaps we can ask you a little bit more about Patelco now. Sure. Particularly, uh, you're a very successful organisation, but it's a very competitive market out there in the world of telecommunications. What would you say the unique selling point was for Patelco, which actually makes it a, a, a little bit more uh, able to compete with others in the markets? I think it's the many elements. One of them is the responsiveness of Patelco. Uh, they're fast. They're fast at responding. Uh, customer care is one of the, uh, the, the the top of the ladder when it comes to priorities of the company. Uh, again, uh, business businesses, we do have divisions that look after businesses specifically, and uh, network reliability is very high. Uh, uh, again, it's the to total of all of those together that makes uh, Betelco, uh, I think, a unique company uh, that many of the residents of Bahrain uh, use. It's, we are expanding that to other um, areas in our group because we have companies uh, in, other, in other countries too. Mm -hmm. Let's look at uh, Bahrain itself uh, and the regulatory environment that you are in. How would you see the perception of that being and indeed what would you like to see improve? I think uh, we, uh, we and the regulators in Bahrain uh, at the time being are uh, going uh, through a good patch, I would call it. We did have our um, differences. Uh, they're, they're doing their job, we're doing our job. Uh, at the end of the day, it uh, took a few years, but uh, the relationship has evolved into a very good relationship. And uh, I think they do understand where we're coming from. We do understand what they want. Both entities want the benefit of the country at the end of the day. So I think we, we are on the right track nowadays. And it's still a very competitive market out there, yeah. of course. Uh, uh, what would you see as being the big challenges there in the telecommunications industry, both globally and, and locally? I think it's a uh, change in technology. It's fast. It's really fast. Uh, I mean, the technology that's been evolving, coming into the market is, I don't think even people can follow up with it. It's too fast uh, and needs, uh, needs uh, attention. So companies that will succeed and do succeed nowadays, they tend to um, uh, embrace this technology and, and, and apply it and, 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 and give the best solution to their customers. So I, th I think it's a daunting task, but at the same time, it's a, it's a good challenge for any company. Do you think it's going to be an exciting time going forward? Definitely, definitely. Customers are going to benefit out of it, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Well, we can perhaps look at uh, your own uh, plans for, for the future in, in a moment. Uh, let's look at the award itself, which is for, for corporate governance, which is something that uh, your organization obviously excels at. Uh, to what extent would you say that corporate governance actually expands and goes on to, to social responsibility? Well, Betilco has got uh, an intensive uh, CSR program, and um, I mean the aim of it is to enrich the lives of people in Bahrain or in the group itself positively. Um, we, we try to uh, do the process uh, of of applying for our grants uh, through uh, proper policies of corporate governance. So the whole thing is done transparently so everybody is is uh, aware of what's happening whether the applicant or us or whoever is watching from outside and everything is transparent that you can see it in the media it's uh, it's uh, i think it's, i think Batilco is doing well there why do you think corporate governance is so po important so vital i think it's the world like the one we are in now i am um, 
people need to have comfort and to believe that you are uh, the, the right organization, the, the, the organization that embraces the right values. And corporate governance insta installs that. Uh, people can see um, what you're doing and why you're doing it and uh, that you are following the right processes. And that's very, very important nowadays. The market itself looks at you every, uh, every day. So once again, you're up against that competition, as you, as you mentioned earlier on. What would you say, in your own perception, are the key elements of good corporate governance? In my view, uh, there are four key elements in corporate governance. I think fairness, transparency, honesty, and integrity are the elements that uh, we embrace as Batilco. And um, we demand uh, uh, from our employees, suppliers, or even directors to embrace it too. Uh, it gives the comfort to, every, for, to everyone and uh, I think at the end of the day you feel that you've achieved something when you go through this process. Let's look uh, uh, at Patelco itself. Uh, you, you're actually, uh, you know, as you say, it's an interesting time now. There's a lot of new developments. What would you say would be an important uh, investment now for the development of Patelco, i.e. Uh, training, research and development and so on? I think that Batilco um, um, has always been investing in the right places uh, in training. Uh, we have been, uh, of course, trying the best we can to get into the mergers and acquisitions area. Uh, we have invested heavily into the technologies that's coming in. Uh, we are one of the first countries in, or companies in, in the area that uh, launched 4G. Uh, we, uh, we have a, a land fixed um, uh, operation that's, I think, uh, second to none in the area. So Batilco has been investing uh, heavily in that area. Uh, again, customer service is a very important area. We do, do sp spend a lot, uh, a lot in uh, training uh, the staff and um, uh, bringing new products to um, enrich the customers. So exciting times ahead then. Lots yeah, going on, much, as it were. Very much. Well, in the meantime, thank you so much for, for talking it's to us today. Good. And congratulations on the award. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, sir.